Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. We are talking about another sartorial moment in No Time to Die. And a lot of this sprang forward with different images that we were receiving before the trailer. And then certainly when the trailer hit, it really jumped in our face. And that is that Bond wears this Henley quite a bit in the film. We've counted at least two outfits and at least three scenes, and we're gonna discuss this Henley and those scenes today, because clearly this Henley has become a part of Bond's sartorial lore. First of all, let's talk about the Henley itself. The Henley is a rag and bone Henley. A lot of the things that we've identified around this, and I'm gonna get up nice and close, have been these buttons, these white buttons that have kind of a black speckling on them, and also the actual fabric itself, which is a slub cotton. What is slub cotton? For those of you that don't know what slub is, it is a wound cotton, very tight, that gives this kind of slub look, and I'll get up a little bit close so you can kind of see the details of the slub. It's got almost like this wave to it, but the way slub feels is, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, slub just feels really soft. It moves with you. And there you can see the buttons and the neckline. So there was a lot of debate and discussion around what Henley is it, which Henley is it. It wasn't really until the trailer came out because we first saw that. Let's go back to that first image that we saw Bond and he's wearing the suspenders and he's got kind of the tactical or ski pants. We don't know what that is yet. And suddenly he's got those giant like carbine wheels in the background. It looks like a giant machine. It was very hard to see the buttons. Uh, any details, quite frankly, was a little like haze down. They probably did that on purpose. When the trailer hit though, then we were able to see this. But it was, it was bigger than that because the reality is, is that we saw Bond in a couple of different scenes. First of all, we saw Bond wearing this Henley under a duster. I mean, it was really cool. I mean, it was it's kind of this Western-like duster. He's wearing a Henley. It's hard to see what pants he's wearing. Is it jeans? Is it chinos? Is it cords? Who knows right now? But, you know, he's got a couple of scenes with that duster. He's driving. So it's amazing how much he's wearing this under the duster. Then we saw this same uh, Henley underneath the NPL sweater, the, the navy ribbed NPL sweater that NPL designed for the movie and for Daniel Craig. He's wearing it underneath it. You could see it poking out of the collar. You can even see some of the uh, uh, wrist hem coming out. It's really cool. So then we see him wearing it in some sort of a big battle fight. I don't know what's going on here, but clearly he's going commando or tactical, and maybe he loses the sweater at some point, and then you see that last shot of the trailer where he turns, and it's the gun barrel. It looks like the gun barrel, or it's made to look like the gun barrel, and he's wearing the Henley. So this Henley, <laughs> um, it's, it's a sartorial co-star is what it is. I mean, it wears a lot. In addition, you know this all too well if you've seen our video, The Daniel Craig Effect, Daniel Craig himself loves Henley. So I could see him walking around and taking a look at Henley's. We see him wear a Henley in Matera, um, a short sleeve Henley. Who knows what that's all about right now? But the reality is, is there's Henley's galore. The rag and bone one, which we've identified from the buttons and the slub cotton and a lot of eagle-eyed detectives, I think is a fantastic addition to our wardrobes. First of all, Let's talk about Rag and Bone. Rag and Bone is a favorite, a personal favorite of Daniel Craig's. Uh, he wears it in real life. No surprise that he's wearing it in this movie. And on top of that, it's about $150. What's nice is this is called their classic Henley. A lot of debate, is it the one of Mr. Porter? Is it the all white one? Guess what folks, if you go to Rag and Bone, or if you go to one of their stores and you ask for the classic Henley, you're gonna get the correct one. Okay, it's on. It's an off-white. Don't get fooled by white. It says white. It says off-white. It, it in real life. I'll get up close again. This is an off-white. Okay, so now that I'm close, let me talk about fit. Okay, so I wanted to get something that fits like the screen accurate version, which um, fits good in the shoulders. Again, I'm a size 40. Up here, I'm a 30, 31 on my waist. And one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I did was to get that 
fit that, again, not too tight, it's not busting out at the seams, I still have room in my body, but I wanted to get that fit, let me show you the back, that has good movement, that fits me well, and, ready for this, this is a size small. So this is something to consider. Uh, typically, I would go with a medium, but the way these fit, which is a relaxed fit, to get the screen accurate look, to get a look that I would want to wear underneath clothing, I didn't want to get it so baggy. The medium would have been too big on me. It would have been too baggy. And this is not too baggy. You can see that I've got plenty of room here. I'm trying, I'm trying not to hunch. Stand up straight, David. Come on, posture. So the way this fits me right now, underneath clothing especially, is going to feel great. I could wear this alone. I wouldn't typically walk out of the house alone. And by the way, Henleys are not for everyone. It kind of gives you that, you know, Americana lumberjack type look in many cases. For example, I can't see Matt Spazer from the Suits of James Bond wearing a Henley, but with Bond as a tactical piece underneath closing, I totally get it. It's not surprising. So yes, this is a small, you can size accordingly. It depends on what type of fit that you're looking for. And because in my real world life, and we do like to talk about real world every now and then, I am going to wear this under things. I won't typically wear this out alone. So the small was absolutely the right choice. Fit and feel, you cannot beat that slub cotton. Uh, it is incredibly well stitched, the lines, the details. It's 150 and I know to uh, the majority of people out there, that's an investment. There are Henleys that you can find less expensive, but this is made incredibly well, plus Rag & Bone, it's a luxury brand. So you have to weigh out those different things. Anyway, that's what we wanted to talk to you about with this Henley. It is available right now. I think it's a staple in their line, so it's not going away anytime soon. But we're gonna be talking about this in conjunction with other pieces. Hopefully when we get the duster raincoat and also when we get the end peel sweater, we'll bring this Henley back because those things pair well like chocolate and peanut butter to make a recent peanut butter cup. That was not an endorsement, but they are delicious. Anyway, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.